Welcome back to Course AI Academy. This video goes over emails, including how to turn on and off abandoned cart emails in your Teachable school, how to customize your emails, and how to review the metrics from sent emails. For schools on the basic plan and up with the abandoned cart emails enabled, Teachable automatically sends emails to potential students who leave checkout before completing a purchase in a school. Abandoned cart emails are enabled by default. To disable abandoned cart emails from your admin, navigate to emails, click on the abandoned cart tab and click the turn off button. Once you have enabled abandoned cart emails in your school, on the email then abandoned cart page under email template, click on the edit template button. This will automatically redirect to emails then the template editor with the abandoned cart template selected. You can make changes to the body text. Click Save to keep your work for later revision or click Publish to make your changes active. You can also click Preview to see how your email will appear to students. You can return the template to its original format at any time by clicking Reset. Click Publish to make these changes available. Once enabled, you will see an overview with the following metrics. Total email sent, total revenue recovered, revenue recovered this month, email click-through rate, and email conversion rate. When clicking on the email history button, you will automatically be redirected to the emails then history tab of your school's admin with the abandoned cart filter pre-selected. There's the date, which is the date the email was automatically sent, the recipient, which is the email of the user who left checkout before completing a purchase, the sent, which is the time that the email was sent to the recipient, delivered, which is the time the email was delivered to the recipient's inbox, opened, which is the date and time the recipient opened the email, and bounced, if the email was unable to be delivered to the recipient's inbox. At checkout, if a potential student fills in their email address and leaves the page, they will receive an email prompting them to complete their purchase with a link to return to the product's checkout page.